So now let's see how we can work around with grouping and ungrouping inside of Tinkercad. So if I were to bring in an object right here, so let's just go around, click on the box and bring it in. You can see that these are individual objects. And if I want to work around with them together, I can select out all of these by clicking and dragging it. And then you get this uh, handle right here. You can resize it. You can pull it out and work around with it the way you want. But if I were to click outside, they are all deselected. So they are individual object once again. So what I can do is I can select all of these and then I can turn it into a group by uh, pressing this icon on the top right or I can press Ctrl Z on my keyboard as well. Once I group it out, you can see that it takes the reference point of the first object that you selected while you group together and applies that color. And whenever I select this, now you can see that this is the group. If I were to double click on this, then this is the group. So you can make adjustments inside as well as you can see. And if I were to click outside, now it turns into a group again. And if you want to ungroup it, then you can click on this icon to ungroup it. And now it is ungrouped out. So let's say, for example, you want to take this color as a reference point for the group. You can select this, hold shift and select both of these right here. And now if I were to click on group, now it takes this color as the reference point for the group, as you can see. So you can go around, change this around right here, double click and you can change uh, these items individually, click outside and there you go, it's a group again. You can rotate it and work around with this according to how you like it. And then you can go around and ungroup this out as well. And that is how you can work around with grouping and ungrouping inside of Tinkercad. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.